drilling bolt holes in our props has to be done precisely or we risk ruining the prop or even having it blow up. Drilling jigs like this one make the job easy. To find out where we want to put those holes, you have to turn the prop hub so it's against the compression. We want one of the blades of the props to be in the right position so when we turn it up against compression, we can flip it through and make it easier to start the motor. Having that blade in the right place when it's up against the compression makes it a lot easier for you to force it through the compression stroke and get your hand out of the way all in one motion. You'll see most people with their props set up like this, and I and other people have tried other positions, and it's just never as good as this. I like my top blade to be at the 1-2 o'clock position. That makes it easy for me to flip the motor through the compression and get my hand out of the way all in the same motion. Some folks, particularly left-handed people, like to push on the bottom of the prop. And really, that same position works fine for both. The important thing is to figure out how you like to have your prop mounted and then make sure you do it the same way every time when you drill the bolt holes. And this is how I orient my holes and that always gets me right where I want it for starting the plane. Next we want to make sure that we're going to use the right size drill bits so we need to stop and measure them. Here I see I need a 5 millimeter drill bit for the bolts. In here, when I'm not trying to tilt the caliper to give the camera a better view, I find out that I need a 10 millimeter bit for the center post. Passing the drill through the center hole is just cleaning up any excess finish that gets like a drop inside there. This is strictly to clean this hole up. When I put the jig on my props, I always put it on so the holes form like a square to the top and bottom blade if you're looking at it vertically. Then I put the bolt and washer in from the other side and snug that down and then check to make sure that the holes in the jig are still where I want them. I like to drill a hole in a piece of wood that's the same size as that bolt and washer. That way I can set the prop down on the wood and it's nice and flat. We want to do everything we can to make sure that these holes are perfectly straight and square in the prop. Then I use a good sharp bit and don't force nothing, just let the bit work its way through the wood. With the bottom of the prop flat on the wood, we get very little tear out, if any. I set the depth stop on the drill press so that the drill will go down about a quarter of an inch past the propeller. And with this block of wood, there's no chance of the drill press hitting the table. I also needed to prep a new blade for my edge, so I prep both of these blades at the same time. It takes very little extra time to do more than one blade. And with that wood under the prop, this is the kind of fuzz that I get left over. And we just rub that off with a little bit of sandpaper. Every now and then I'll kick up a little splinter back here, but it never has seemed to make any difference. I sand it just enough to make sure that those little ridges are gone. That's all we need. Balancing is always the last thing that I do. And since I started using best props, I haven't had to do a whole bunch of that either. The best props seem to either be right on the money or really close to it. And here my carbon fiber prop is just a little bit off. A lot of guys that fly it like this and really not have any problems, but I like to get it as close to perfect as I can. This is a really light prop, so I don't have to take a lot of material off, so I'll just sand the edges very lightly and then go back and check it on the balancer. And we'll see that that was all that it needed. And now I can mount my new prop on the yak and know that when I get it out to the field, it's going to run fine. And just as importantly is I'll know that the blade is in the right place for starting it so I can do that safely. Like most things in RC flying, once you get used to drilling your props right, it goes a lot faster. And you'll find that starting your motor is both easier and quicker with the prop in the right place. 